Hello. It's been a long time since I made a video. Um, I am going to um, make some deodorant. But first, look who it is. Look who it is. Oh, there's a baby in there. It's you. That's Turner. <sighs> okay, so I just decided to do this and I am not, I'm not prepared at all. But what you're going to need is coconut oil, um, cornstarch or arrowroot, um, baking so no, baking, yeah, baking soda. That's for basic stuff. And then it gets hot here in the summer. I'm in New York. Um, I think it's pretty hot, so I like to put in a little beeswax and then um, whatever essential oils that you want, that you like. Right? And a double boiler would be handy, but not necessary because I don't have one. Okay. So, here we go. Here we go. I set you up and then I get tater tot. That's what we call him, tater tot. Because we are funny people. Okay, so a pan, okay, baby soda, cornstarch, coconut oil. I get the ones in the glass jars so I can just put them in the pan and melt them. Because that's easiest for me. Pan. Move some water and your coconut oil in the pan. Take off the lid and start warming it up because you need it kind of melty. Hold on. And we need a jar. I put mine in a jar. You can put yours in you can put yours in uh, an old deodorant container. Like if you have one that's empty, you can just um, roll it all the way back down and then pour it in there. You might need two for a batch. And then you, if you wanted to measure out, if you see, I put mine in a jar like this. You could measure out like I think it's I think it's ten tablespoons. Ten tablespoons. Ten. Anyway, some coconut oil, and then it's quarter cup of cornstarch, and it's a quarter cup of baking soda, and then it's whatever essential oils you want. So, where's my quarter cup? Third cup. This is my quarter cup. Okay. So, I didn't have any beeswax yesterday, so I didn't put it in. But I have to find it now, because I think it's downstairs in my, um, I think it's downstairs in the soap making stuff. So, that's where we'll go look. In the basement! I told you I wasn't prepared. Cobwebs. Spider webs. Yep, there it is. Dark down here, huh? Very dark. We had a lot of rain. We've had a lot of rain. Oh, there's the dog. There's the dog. Oh, he's running away. Oh, there's the dog. The dog. The dog. He's new too. So. If you had a microwave, this would be easy. I don't have one. I have my microwave. I thought I had a jar with beeswax melted in it. Well, whatever. I'll just grate some up. Yeah, do you see that? I pinched myself trying to mess with my worm bin. Two um, buckets were stuck together. And in trying to reef them apart, I pinched myself and it hurt really bad. Okay, here's my cheese grater. Not really worried about not about using non-food things in here, cause um, it's beeswax. It's yummy and delicious. Grating the beeswax. 
just because it, it, I get it in these big chunks. They're like put in a humongous muffin tin. And um, it takes a long time for them to melt. So if it's 10, oh, I gotta go get the baby. I left you alone. Okay, so if it's 10, um, oh, it smells so good. Smell it. it smells so good. Okay. If it's 10 tablespoons of coconut oil, then it should just be a couple tablespoons of beeswax. Okay, so what happens is the coconut oil melts at a temperature of 76. So that's kind of room temperature, right? Sometimes, 76. I mean, right around here. Around here, it's been, that's been room temperature. So it's kind of liquidy. So you don't want liquid deodorant. So beeswax has a higher melting point. So if you add it to your You add it to your deodorant, then it will be a more of a solid, which is what I I want. <laughs> so I'm putting it in there, putting the little shreds in the jar, and now the meltdown. And then we're gonna put in. So right now the little jar has coconut oil and beeswax in it. We're going to get that to melt down. Stir it in. And then we'll add our cornstarch and our baking soda. Really easy. And then We'll add our essential oil, which I like lavender. It's pretty. It smells pretty.